Welcome to yet another episode in the Archbang Bootcamp series. Today I am installing KDE 4.8, the latest and the greatest, let me tell you. And it's straightforward and easy to do, as you will see on this episode of Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, let's begin. First, if you want to see a good review of KDE 4.8 on Arch Linux, check out Infinitely Galactic's channel. I'm not going to be doing a review of KDE 4.8 because my review wouldn't even compare to what Infinitely Galactic has put out. So you'll see that in the show notes. Alright, so. This is the Arch Wiki that we have open here, and there are instructions here for doing a full install or a minimal install of KDE. Obviously, I want to have a look at the full and the new version of KDE, KDE 4.8, and uh, I'd like to have the full KDE experience, so I'm going to install the whole thing, and we're going to have a look at that. All right, now let's go ahead and open up our terminal. All right, and let's go ahead and log in as root. I just typed in sue, and then I'll put in my password. All right, and you can see I've got root access now. And uh, first, we're going to run pacman hyphen capital S Y U. This way, we can be sure that we've got everything up to date and that there is no uh, updates that we need to do. Okay, no problem. No updates are required. Now let's run Pac-Man. Python capital S, and then we're going to put in KDE. All right, and we're going to go ahead and press enter. We want it all. Now it's going to go ahead and resolve dependencies, and it's going to install all the packages. Okay, and why not go with the Phonon G Streamer? That's fine. Okay, and it wants us, there are also extra providers. Okay, let's go with uh, OpenJDK. Um, we can run the uh, first one. All right, and it's going to download 635 megs of stuff. Wow. So we're gonna go ahead and let it download and install all this stuff. And I'm gonna pause the video while this is installing. Okay, now that the installation has finished, we can go ahead and close our terminal here. All right, and then we're gonna to need to copy this line over to Exonet RC. Let me go ahead and minimize this. And I have Exonet RC right here. I'm gonna right click and go into leaf pad with that. And you wanna make sure that line is included right here and then save it. Now the old line, I went ahead and just commented that out. All right, now, the ArchWiki documentation does also mention if you want to use KDM as your login manager, it gives you instructions. I chose to edit the file with Exonet RC because ArchBang comes with the Slim Login Manager. I am also using the Slim Login Manager in Arch. Even though it is no longer being developed, nor is it supported, it is my favorite login manager, and it is my hope that somebody will pick up Slim and continue to develop it. All right, so now all we have to do is log out and log back in. All right, now let's see how badly the computer blows up, shall we? This should be interesting. Ooh, looky what we have here. Alright, and there you go. We've got 
got a nice KDE setup, fully loaded with all the goodness that KDE has to offer. Alright, very nice. And if you want to see the full review, of course, definitely hop on to Infinitely Galactic's channel and that sort of thing. And always remember, read the documentation on the ArchWiki just in case you run into any bottlenecks on this. But all in all, this looks really nice. I like the way the new KDE looks. And um, just as I, uh, wow, this is amazing. I like this a lot. Well, I'm definitely going to have to play with this at some point. Okay, well, if you thought this tutorial was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video up to my channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Next, coming up on Archbank Bootcamp, I'm installing Cinnamon for you guys. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.